All right, Creator Secrets fam, what is up? I'm gonna walk you through exactly how I create that gorilla style animated music video. I'm gonna show you from start to finish how all the tools I use, prompts, everything else. So, so we end up with something like this. There's nothing in this world that could ever stop but you. Okay, step one is that we have to get our images and the tool that I use is Mid Journey, but we have to set up our mood board. So to do that, we have to find our images that we want to emulate. Obviously for this one, we're, we're emulating the gorillas, right? So I just did some gorillas uh, search on YouTube, got some gorillas images and I actually, so I open this, open this guy up here and get a screenshot. Then I'm going to take that into Enhancer. And when I'm in Enhancer, what I'm using is the Image Upscaler. I'm not doing anything else. I'm just using the Image Upscaler. I'm not going to mess around with, with Skin Editor or anything like that. I'm, I'm, let's, let's just keep it simple. I'm, I'm too stupid to, keep, to not keep it simple, okay? So well, let's go remove this one and then just Upscale Image. Perfect. And we will just sit here and wait for this to upload. Hi, right, Bozo. Are we really gonna make these people wait? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. This does take a little bit more than the two minutes they're saying, um, but we'll just fast forward here. Okay, now we have our images. Now that we've we've picked our 10 images at least, we've upscaled them. I use Enhancer, you can use whatever you want. Now we bring them into Mid Journey and bring them into a mood board. So let me show you that. We go into Mid Journey, we go down to Mood Boards, and all we're going to do, you can see mine is actually right here, but I'll just show you the exact way we do it. So create new mood board. And then we're going to upload our images. And these are just the images that we that we created, the, the enhanced images. All right, and once you have all of your images uploaded, you name your mood board, whatever you want to name it. Obviously, my, I was very original here. And once you want to use it, Click use in prompt here. This is going to give you this little code and I just remember this. We're going to bring in our prompt that we're going to get from ChatGPT and then we're going to also use this to kind of tell them this is the kind of style we want to use based on our mood board. So we're going to combine that with the dash dash Niji. I'll show you in a little bit. Okay, settle down Skippy. Let's just show them the deets. Slow down. What has helped me immensely and really helped me, especially when I'm talking about these type of uh, animated music videos, is mapping out my lyrics. So, so you see, this is how I would normally bring the song into Suno, structured like first verse, chorus, second verse, all of that, right? Now, when I'm mapping it out for the music video, I want to have every lyric and every part of the song in the timing. That's what we have moving forward. That's kind of the lyric timing map. It's kind of my secret sauce. Don't go telling everyone. Oh, I'm not going to tell them. Look, making AI magic is a lot of fun. And being able to do it under a budget is even better. But let's be honest. I wouldn't even have a budget if I wasn't able to actually make money from AI. And I learned all of that from Uncle Scotty. Check it out. What's up? I'm Scotty, and this is where you can learn how to not suck at AI content creation. Now, I've been making a full-time living online since 2015, but you know who's better at making money online than me? Meet Kira, and yes, she's AI. She's popular on social media. She helps co-host my YouTube channel. She's really good at singing. We create short films together. Now, or we lose the mask. So look, if you want to learn how to not only make AI content, but how to actually monetize it and turn your views into money like a real business, that's exactly what we talk about in the Creator Secrets community on school. You can find the link for that down in the description below. But now back to the video. Let's start to create our image prompts, right? Now we're going to bring ChatGPT into the mix. We have our kind of our our idea of our our story that we want to tell with our music video and we also have our lyric timing now i'm going to bring in a prompt and i'm going to just tell you what the prompt is <clears throat> it's going to say we're creating music video in the style of the band gorillas we're animating the video using images from mid journey we will then take those images into cling to bring them to life i will then take the images and edit them to the song i have my lyrics and the timing of the song that i'll give you at the end of this prompt the song is about redemption. So this, this is where we tell the chat GPT what we want the song to be about. So I kind of just told them what the song's about. Then at the end I said, um, I want you to give me prompts for images based on the story that I want to convey as well as the lyrics and the timing. 
here are the lyrics and timing. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste that into ChatGPT, and then I'm going to get the lyrics and the timing. And there we go. Let's see what ChatGPT says for us. So let's just scroll down here and say, okay, here's the mood setup for... See, it's, it's going to want me to do a mood setup from 0 to 11 seconds, right? That's way too long. I already know that I can't hold the attention from 0 to 11 seconds, right? But let's see what we have here. And let's bring this into uh, Gorillas, <laughs> into Mid Journey. And we're going to use in prompt, right? And then we're going to put our prompt that we just got from chat gpt in front of that oh whoa 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 there we go and it already had the dash dash niji six combining your mood board and the dash dash niji six that is the animation style and the combination of the two is what is the secret sauce and then i think i do style raw in my other ones but i i won't even yeah, i think style raw Okay, and then let's see what it comes up with. I'll hit rerun a couple times. So I have like a bunch of images to choose from. Okay, now let's see what we get, what we have here. I mean, these are pretty cool. <laughs> I like them. They're definitely the style we're looking for. I, I like a bunch of them. So what I do from here, right? This is the kind of the first scene that we're gonna go with. What I do is I save a bunch of these. Now, when I'm saving these, I do this in a very, very specific way. So. This is just for my brain, and I, I guess this is just the way I think and the way I operate, but this is the way I do it. So I'll make new folders for each for each part of the song. So this is going to be the intro, or we'll just call it all the first verse, right? So first verse. And then what I do here, this was the first prompt that we're going to use, right? Our first scene, our first kind of scene. So what I do here is the first one that I'm going to... To do, I'm just going to call 1A. That's the first one that I'm saving out of this batch. Um, that was this one. I liked that. Um, I, let's see if there's any more. I kind of like, um, uh, I don't know, maybe the smoking one, but <laughs> we'll see. I like this one. Sure. Let's go, and I'll call that 1B, okay? Then I'll go down um, like this one, 1C, and we'll do one more. Um, I don't know, this one. Whatever. 1D. Okay, so now that I have all of those, what I do is usually, I mean, ChatGPT is going to give me all of these prompts and I'm going to have to go back to it later. But I say, great, working on the first image now, here are the options I like. And I bring those options into ChatGPT. And I do this for each kind of each image, so almost each line, right? And if, if for something like this, like it said, it wanted 11 seconds, I know I'm going to have to break this up. So we're going to probably do a 10 second clip with this. And we're going to add some B-roll images that kind of go in, maybe flashes or something that, to get the attention of the, uh, of the watcher or of the watcher, of the viewer. Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. Wow. Okay. And those look three fires. They like it. And then it's going to kind of tell you why each one kind of nails the energy that we're going for. And maybe it could be right, it could be wrong. Maybe it brings up a point that you might not be thinking of. It's kind of cool to interact with this way. At least, I don't know, I thought it was very cool and very uh, productive for me to kind of think of each image individually and why I want to put each image there. So I broke down each image of my video and it's kind of easy when you do it this way. It's going to go all into a different... In, into the into the shot then we're gonna bring it to life and cling so great give me the prompt for cling okay now it has our prompt that we are going to bring into cling okay what we do is we bring our prompt that we just got from chat GPT into here and we bring our image now we're going to have that go for 10 seconds just because this is a longer clip and when we're doing the shorter clips, which I'm going to show you in a second with the next clip, we'll do five second clips. But we're going to have that run. I, I usually do four outputs and I, and I run it. Yes, it's, it costs me more, but I like to have an option and I like to choose between my clips. So 
Okay, while that is running, we go to clip number two. And to do that, we go back into ChatGPT. We're going to scroll way up here. Now, usually, I would go through all of this. I would look at it. I would edit it. I would make sure it's all of the clips that I want. I make sure that if, if I make any changes or whatever the case is, I'm just doing this quickly to show you guys, right? Now, we'll take the second prompt. Now, what's cool from now on, what I like to do is you can bring your prompt in there, and let's just take that Niji out of there. Watch this. What I like to do now is just, we can just, bam, hit our, hit, see what I'm doing down here? I can just hit the, the little, indica, what are they called? The, I don't know, the descriptors, descriptions, whatever, the, the, the tags, whatever these things are, these tags that we, that we tell them, you can just do them right here. I, I love that they have that, right, that option. So now we can just do our mood board gorillas whenever we want we don't have to have our code that we, that, had a, that we copied before but if we need it we have it just in case right so let's create this one and then like we like we did before we're going to rerun it a couple times i trust that it's going to be a banging image we're going to have some cool options to look at so let's let this run we'll see how we're doing in cling and this is what we do folks this is we go back and forth and back and forth we still have a minute left in cling so we will come back to that one so I like that this happened because we don't have any, I mean, these are some awesome images and they probably would go really, really well, but what's the problem? There's no consistency, right? So what I like to do here is if we're going to use the first image, let's use, use this text. Let's put our tags or whatever they're called back in. And then what I like to do is I like to add that image here. So Let's bring in 1A and let's put that back. And now make sure this is on image. All, I did this video a couple times and actually one of them ended up making it in the music video. But make sure you switch to image here. Um, it will do clips if you want it to, but it's going to run through your credits pretty quickly. But So make sure you have the image here of the one that we are using from the cling, from the cling clip. <laughs> and then we're going to use that and see if we get a little bit better consistency going from the first the first clip to the next clip right all right let's check on clean all right here we have some options here oh man and I, I forgot to turn off the sound please turn off the sound I don't know why clean even has sound it's very weird okay this is a long clip again if this was the opening clip right there this really wouldn't grab attention um, so we, we're going to have to have something else happening. Let's say we liked this clip. Obviously, it's, we're not going to use this, but we, what we do is we download that, and then we're going to use that as our first, our opening clip. So you can see these are a little bit better and when it comes to character consistency, especially when we're talking about our first clip. So, so that's how you're going to get that consistency going. You're going to notice that there's a couple of images that really stick out, and that's kind of the character you want for this video. And those are the images that you're going to keep using for your prompts moving forward. That is how you get the images and you bring and how you bring the images to life. So the last part really is editing. That's it. You can see here again, I had to break this up because I couldn't just have it. It wanted me to have him just playing piano for that first 11 to 12 seconds. And I couldn't have that. So I had to break it up. Um, I did it with this and then with the rustling the rustling shot with the bleeding sheet music that I used that I, I kind of called back a couple of times in the video but even with the motion and everything like that I, you kind of still want to break it up you, you you have to understand that people's attention span when they're watching a video it you want to keep it going and keep it changing right always always changing so you can see I'm always making something happen right So I want I needed this to go a little bit longer, so I broke it up. So even when you have those 10 second clips, don't be afraid to break it up because even when you have that, you can see this little gap right here. It, it, if you have something over that, people aren't going to realize that 
oh, they're not picking up where it should, right? So you can ha you can use those little things to extend things a little bit and make a 10 second clip into a 15 or 18 second clip, right? So that's how you do that. And then also thinking about the, the song and kind of if there's any beats or special things that you want to do, make sure you align those with your videos. I know it's, it's very hard to do and, and there's not really any trick I have except for time and, and taking the time and doing it. Um, that's the only real trick I can give you uh, when you want to make it hit on, on those certain beats. But other than that, this is my editor and this is, I, I kind of wanted to show you these little tricks too. So you see like when it tells you to make a, a 10 second or 11 second clip, you can't do that. You want to break it up and you can break it up even further and extend it further than that by doing these little tricks, by, by adding your B-roll. Um, like think of these, these are B-roll, right? You're adding your own B-roll in there. So what, what made sense? Well, he's playing piano. Let's have an overhead shot of somebody playing piano, right? Um, and then uh, just a weird shot. Like here, it's supposed to get their, get the attention. Wait, that's sheet music. Wait, is that bleeding? What is going on, right? So that is kind of what you want to do, um, how you want to structure it and how you want to edit and, and kind of how you want to think about making your video and kind of think about when you're watching it you want to kind of always have something happening and having it change and coming back and flashing forward and back and telling the story right you kind of always want to have that story going so like i said hope this helped and if you have any questions always here in the creator secrets community so feel free to reach out all right take care guys